Hi everyone, Johnny from WP Johnny here to explain today what is a CDN, what are the benefits, and whether or not you should use it for your site. So the first thing is what is a CDN? A CDN is a content delivery network. So what the service is, they use their network of servers to mirror your web server and to deliver content from their servers all over the world instead of using your server. How this helps is that if you have visitors around the world, they don't have to you know, connect all the way to your origin server, which might be far away. They connect to the nearest CDN server, which has a mirror copy of your content, and they would download it faster, and your page would appear to load faster for them. That would be the basics of a CDN and how it helps you. Um, but in real world, right, in real world use, we have to think about whether or not it actually helps. So we'll discuss. Uh, let's say, for example, um, Let's say, for example, we use we want to use Max Max CDN, which is now called Stackpath. Okay, and let's pretend your server, your origin server, is in Denver, United States, right there. Like I think that's Midwest, or I don't know, somewhere central United States. So your local web server is there, and you have users all over the world, right? They're in Europe, they're in Africa, they're in Australia, they're in South America, they're everywhere. So if I didn't have a CDN, if you didn't have a CDN and your web server was here, all your users from all over the world, when they enter your website, let's say it's, uh, let's, let's pretend yahoo.com, we're all billionaires, you own yahoo.com, and your yahoo.com is on this server at Denver. So when everyone types yahoo.com, this person over here in Seoul, Korea, they type yahoo.com and they have to connect all the way to here and then they get the information, your server sends the information, and it downloads back here and ends up on the user's computer. Now, if you have a CDN, and if and precisely if you had Mac CDN, it would copy all the content from Yahoo, Yahoo servers, uh, from your original server, and it would copy it to this server, and this server, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So that if you had a user around here in Asia, it would download from the, the Hong Kong server. And if you had users in Australia or New Zealand, it might download from like the Sydney or Melbourne server. And if you had users in South America, it would connect here. So it would download the content from the nearest uh, pop, right? The, the nearest POP location, the nearest mirrored server location. Um, so that would be an example of where CDN benefits you. Now, what about you had a shoe store uh, somewhere in Africa, let's say right here. You had a local shoe store and all your visitors, the only people who visit your website are the local town people, right? So nobody else in the world visits your site, only these people. So your server is here, your business is here, and your, your users are here. In this case, it would not make any sense to get a CDN. It would be better for you to not have a CDN so when the users type in um, your shoe store.com, they would download directly from the server right here because they're nearby, right? If you were to uh, set up Mac CDN on your website, on your shoe store, this poor user entering shoe store.com, your shoe store.com, instead of download direct, downloading directly from your server, he's gonna connect to the near server, which is maybe out here in Spain. So he's gonna connect all over here to get the content that was already here. Right, so you have to think about whether or not it actually benefits you, whether or not they're the faster delivery, because the faster delivery depends on the distance. So if your users are closer to your, your origin server, then, and you don't have users all over the world, then it doesn't make sense to have a CDN. Now, um, there is one other thing we have to factor in when using CDNs. The thing is that CDNs will cache your content, which is means like they save a copy of your content. And then when your users request it, they will give the user the content. So some CDNs, they will copy your content onto their servers and they'll hold it there for, for an X amount of time, two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, whatever. And after eight hours, the content expires. And then it's it's a dead cache, right? Maybe they'll maybe some will pull it out and they'll recache. Some will leave it on your server, and then they'll wait for another visitor to hit. And once you get the next visitor, that one has to hit the CDN server, which then requests the content from your origin server, and then it is given to the user. 
So that ex adds an extra proxy and extra delay. So if your CDN expiry times are shorter than the frequency of your traffic, then it could also uh, hurt your site, your page load time, right? So if so, you need to have um, enough traffic to make use of it, in my opinion, to keep the cache warm. Um, otherwise, it's probably faster if it connects directly to your CDN. I mean, uh, to your origin server. Uh, there's also the issue of there are many different CDN services out there. So typically they cache only static content. That would be like your CSS, your JS, your images, right? JPEG, uh, PNGs. Some will do like SVG. Some can even do video. Some can do web fonts. So it really depends what content, what kind of content you have and what do you need. Uh, some of them will have a size limit, right? They won't cache anything above one megabyte or up 50, above 50 megabytes. Uh, there, so there's some that won't do videos, there's some that can do videos, right? If you're loading videos off your site, you don't want that to, to come streaming off your origin server. That can slow down your web server. So that's another thing too. CDNs will take the load off your web server. So that means your origin web server can maybe run a little faster. Or maybe if your origin web server is a slow server, you're using slow crappy shared hosting, then the CDN can, you know, maybe help speed that up a little bit, right? Speed up the, the user experience a little bit. So, uh, there, you know, there are many CDNs out there. And, and then there's also locations, right? You want one that has locations where you are. So if I'm up here, then I might need a, a CDN that, that can cover this area or that has a nearby mirror server to that area. There's also different pricing. Some are really cheap. Or, or you know or, or maybe they're cheap in areas that you need or maybe they're cheap in areas that you don't need some of them have a, a much cheaper volume pricing or they have different features that you would need or don't need the easiest way for me to tell you is just to try out the different CDNs yourself and then you'll know if it's truly fast or not uh, it's very common that it, it, some people go oh my god I heard CDNs are amazing so they just go and sign up for whatever plan and they go actually I took it off because it was actually slower so it happens all the time. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're not really sure if you need it, you don't set things up correctly, it can actually be slower than loading it off your origin server. Okay, uh, and, and just in case, if you, if you ever needed help figuring out whether or not uh, the CDN, uh, loading from CDN is actually any faster, we can go here, go to the network tools, and I just, and I just do this, right? And so here we can see the waterfall. As you can see, these bars, are really thin right so 40 uh i think that's less than a millisecond what is that a nano a nanosecond i don't know that that symbol so these are really thin in some cases like this you, as you can see this is like a thicker load bar 500 milliseconds that's half a second what is that of course it's a, it's a google thing or oh it's mailer light okay so you're using a cheap server so you know, give it a try. And if you don't know what you're doing, I think the best uh, free point, it's free, you can try using Cloudflare's free CDN service. I hope you liked the video. If you have any more questions, you know who to ask. Thanks for watching.